Non-Americans, what American food do you find questionable? Is this for another BuzzFeed article? My parents are immigrants. They always say the desserts grocery store cupcakes and stuff has so much sugar it feels too gritty and uncooked to them. Also soft baked things, like chewy chocolate chip cookies they thought were weird in the beginning, like the cookie was undercooked. I love soft baked cookies though so I bake them all the time, they've come around to liking them haha. Another one I hear a lot is the food coloring. My mom is often perplexed and grossed out by very saturated unnaturally colored foods, usually frosting or candy she tells me it just looks unhealthy and is unappetizing. Also, my mom is low-key traumatized from Twizzlers lol. She said the first time she saw it she wondered why people were chewing on plastic. She then tried it and said it also tasted like plastic. Haha. <laughs> I witnessed a Turkish friend's first corn dog. He grabbed it and started eating it, not understanding what a corn dog was. After the first bite, he was so surprised and bursted into excitement. Whoa, there's a hot dog in here he loved every bite and went back for about five more. My mind is boggled by the amount of comments saying spray cheese. I've lived in the US my entire life 40 years and worked in a grocery store for many years. I've never had it, and I've rarely seen people buy it. I think it is a niche thing. Definitely not flying off the shelves. It's just so interesting seeing so many comments about it. Is that how we are advertised in other countries? A friend visited me from Italy and wanted to try Krispy Kreme donuts. He took one bite and said now I understand why Americans are fat he made me take him back there twice. Not that I minded going pee. I really want a corn dog right now. As an Australian, I would like to know what in the flying fire truck a bloom and onion has to do with anything, let alone the rest of Outback Steakhouse's menu. For Loco. It's banned here in Canada and I can understand why. I was born in Scotland and live in Canada. Between haggis and patine, I'm not allowed to criticize a goddamn thing. Anything from the 50s. Especially if it includes jello, mayonnaise or raisins. Sweet potato casserole recipe topped with pecans and marshmallows traditional side at Thanksgiving table. I never really got the corn dog thing. I went to the States one time and never got the chance to try one. I hear they are fantastic. Corn candy or whatever the name is. Edit as a European who's been first mentioned the existence of candy corn long ago. At first those two words made me picture lots of corn grains industrially stirred in a mixture made of sugar and syrup and so later on they would be covered in some jelly sticky caramel and that you eat more like sweet snacks. I feel a lot of our more unique foods were beaten out of the culture by the post-World War II obsession with frozen processed food pushing out traditional poor food. Kidneys, liver, beef tongue, chitlins, and other awful used to be staples of the American diet. Orange circus peanuts. What are they? How did they have so much sugar but taste so horrible? What science experiments created them? PBJ had me confused for a while but when I took a bite I loved it. Not judging any other non-Americans for not trying this because peanut butter and jelly aren't put together in most countries outside of America. Canned things that probably don't need to be canned. Looking at you whole white potatoes in water. Apparently foreigners aren't aware of our truly weird shit, like chitlins and raccoon. Also, the amount of dishes that involve a can of Campbell's cream or something. Peeps said it I'm an American. I didn't read the question very well. As a Canadian, I'm consistently in awe of American food. They have food we can't even comprehend. Breakfast corn dogs pretzels stuffed with cheese pizza and cookies Chicago deep dish pizza your entire country must be blazed all the goddamn time to come up with such deliciousness. At it to be fair, we have poutine, maple candy, ketchup chips, and cheese curds. I've heard a lot of people that are weirded out by our breakfast foods, like pancakes and other stuff. As an American I weep for those the world over who have not had biscuits and sausage gravy. Twinkies. WTF is it even made of? In my mind it's just pure sugar. I was at a fairly typical diner in the US with a foreign friend, visiting the US for the first time. I mentioned how this diner had recently been renovated. You mean they made it look this way on purpose? He asked. Minnesota salads grimacing face, like WTF America crushed pineapples and marshmallows are not ingredients that belong near a salad, smiley face, update I will try to make a small portion of MSS at home, they don't sell Cool Whip in Europe, is wiping cream okay? Wish me a luck, smiley face, I'm sorry but those slices of American cheese have always tasted so thick and plastic to me personally. Whatever sick fuck decided we needed to batter and deep fry sticks of butter needs their mental health checked. Chai tea for anyone don't know literally means TTBTW, it doesn't taste like chai. Marshmallows on sweet potatoes is so gross and very foreign to me. Corn syrup everywhere. Grits. Tried it a few times and I don't hate it anymore but it's weird. 
very weird. I feel like America can thank Matt Groening and Homer Simpson for the world thinking all we eat is gross garbage food. Or maybe they don't even know what The Simpsons is. I don't know, I'm American. Now if you excuse me, it's Christmas and I gotta go make my chocolate-covered pork rinds with three cheese mayo dip for Christmas brunch. Merry Christmas Happy 1225 I want to know who in God's name invented the diabetes meal that is a double chicken burger with two glazed donuts as buns. That weird jello salad with cottage cheese. Ambrosia salad. Yuck. How a lot of basic everyday cooking seems to involve a lot of more or less ready-to-eat and similar products. Pancake mix, sauces, cans of just about anything. I watched a video recently where a woman was showing her spaghetti recipe. She boiled spaghetti and poured over a can of store-bought sauce and added spices. That was it. And she is not alone. Is it that much cheaper or is it a cultural thing? Mac and cheese where it does not belong. I'm looking at you pizza and burgers. Hershey's chocolate. I love the English and Irish commenters talking trash about how bad American food is. This sub is just the same recycled shit over and over and over. Twizzlers. They look like plastic. And TV dinners. Took me a bit of adjustment time before I tried chitterlings but they turned out to be delicious. I'm American. But I have one. I grew up along the Bible Belt and I've always wondered what is up with Americans and putting raisins in places they don't belong. Spray. Cheese. Fondant. I can't stand the stuff ESP after accepting Cake Boss into my life so I wonder if they think it's unnecessary to dress cakes, fake or not, with an extra layer of styrofoam. A lot of people talking about food I ain't even heard of and or things that are designed as condiments by themselves. Anything with excessive sugar in it like Sweet potatoes are already sweet, why adding more? Also bread, why the hell does bread need sugar in it? Crying face. Scrapple. Deep fried butter. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video. If you have something to say critically or otherwise, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to see more of it. I hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives.